What's up, guys? It's Catherine. I haven't seen you in a little while. I've been watching Once Upon a Time, season 5, on my computer, so I didn't want to edit a video. <laughs> I filmed some things, I just didn't want to edit them. So, this actually is my drawing for Jerry's... My, not Jerry's, Artorama, uh, Truth or Dare, um, like, drawing thing. So, I bought these... Um, Rembrandt uh, soft pastels um, actually have two haul videos separate haul videos where I bought them so I think they were like a sequential maybe like one month or so in between where I um, bought the big set and then I bought the smaller set because it was on super sale big set wasn't on sale mm -mm. I mean I think I had like a coupon or something I don't know anyway so they're super nice and I like felt that they were like really precious and I didn't want to like mess them up and I didn't really know what to use them for um so the truth or dare thing was truth like what is the one thing that you've been hoarding that you think is too precious that you haven't used in art supplies and then the dare was to make something with them and like post it to Instagram because they're having a little contest that so he does like giveaways periodically and this is actually the first one that I really like fully entered um, so I got home from, well not home, I, got, I came to studio after a really long day at school in the printmaking lab and then I even stayed late to work on one of my prints that you can also see on my Instagram. As you guys know, I post way more stuff on there because I do a lot more work daily that's um, progress, like process related, not so much like finish, finished pieces that I can't necessarily put on uh, YouTube. So. Check out my Instagram if you want to like see what I'm doing on a day-to-day day day basis. Words are hard sometimes. So the link is in the descri description. It's at Catherine Cisco. Um, so uh, after a really exhausting day of printing and just frustration, I was exhausted and hungry and it was like a Wednesday. It wasn't even the end of the week and I just needed to like decompress. So I decided to do something kind of simple, I thought. I was like, it would be fun just to use like some, you know, pastels to do these really cool bubbles. So you can see it periodically, like my reference photo in there or whatever. And I had printed that out like ages ago because I, like, I was like, oh, this is cool. I definitely want to do this in pastel. That was when I first bought that set of soft pastels. So and it just got to be like so, uh, it was, it was, I just felt too confined. So I was just like, fuck it. <laughs> I got tired. And I erased every, like, all the bubbles. Well, I tried to erase all the bubbles that I had drawn initially. And then um, I just kind of, like, went with whatever I was feeling. And I kind of decided to make that one bubble that I started into, like, an eyeball sort of thing. Um, it's definitely not a human eye, obviously. So it's, like, a humanoid uh, type of thing. And I don't really draw portraiture. If you've, like I said, if you see my Instagram... Um, I don't really draw humans and I never practiced drawing humans like as a kid like I know people were just like oh I've always drawn drawn people like I've just I was never that person um, so I'm not that good at anatomy so I just kind of tried to remember I didn't use any reference photos um, I just tried to remember what I learned in my um, figure drawing class and then I also was like touching my face with my left hand I was like okay I think okay my cheek is here the form of my cheek goes in a little bit and then there's the side of my nose so it's obviously not perfect, which is I'm totally fine with because no human eyeball looks like this. So it's obviously not meant to be human. I wanted to use as many colors as possible as well. So um, I didn't use any black. I just would darken my reds with the green and like the yellow. I think I added blue to it. So um, just kind of to darken things like that uh, in that way. And I just wanted to use so much color. So that's sort of what you know the pastels are for but they are messy so I use a ton of wet wipes uh, you know what I mean so I think there's a part where I'm like I show I use it but I had that was like mostly what I was cutting out when I was editing this video was like all the times where I'd like put a pastel down and then reach up and like wipe my fingers off on that um on that wet wipe so um but the trick with the pastels for you guys watching if interested is like you don't always have to blend. You can, right here, right there, exactly right there is like when you really see that like you get fine details by literally just laying like down like one line over top of like what is there below it and you just don't blend it out. 
Also, a way to get kind of like a soft, uh, shiny detail would be to like lay down whatever, you know, highlight that you want to do and then just dab it with your finger or pat it with your finger or whatever instead of like wiping it or rubbing it. <sighs> okay, so for the second half of this drawing, I didn't know, again, I didn't know what I was going to do. I didn't even know if this was going to be a, like a human figure. I thought it was, I thought it might be like some sort of animal. I did fish recently with those really long bags under their eyes, which I was really into. Um, so I was thinking I would do that with this, but then um, the dark area that I put down, it was just, I don't know. I, it ended up just being like a second eyeball. So I used a darker version of the bubble from that same reference photo. I didn't spend as much time on that second eye as I did the first eye. Um, but it was really hard actually to lay down the colors anyway just because I was trying to lay them over top of like all that darkness. So like even this white here was just a mess because like number one, I didn't use white paper, which I should have. I actually learned this like as I was editing it. I was like, oh, I should have just used white paper because all the uh, um, blending and stuff that I did was actually really, it like got really gray when I added because I used the white. So if I, if I would have used white paper instead of gray paper, but I just used what I, had already cut out like I did some like charcoal animation or whatever with the same paper and it was I just cut half of it so this was the other half of that larger sheet so I didn't want to I want I didn't want to waste anything so there's that <sighs> okay so I just want to touch really quickly on my new upload schedule I'm not going to be uploading <laughs> twice a week like I have been it's going to be just once a week now it's going to be either Wednesday or Saturday so I think that's all I have for you. Um, yeah. And if you've ever seen Simply Neological's videos, oh yeah, you can see that I'm wearing hollow nail polish, sort of. But this is my version of peel porn. And I've done these in videos before, which makes me so happy. But um, I just like this part, like where just you pull up the edges and you just get those really, well, except for right there, really crisp, fine edges. So um, at the end, you'll see the full... Uh, zoom out of this little pastel picture and I thank you guys so much for watching I'll see you next week sometime okay oh and this is the mess at the end I showed the clean version at the beginning but this is how messy got not that messy good quality stuff right here okay bye